This is Dr. Gil Wilshire at Missouri Fertility. Welcome to the fifth video in our series of nutrition lectures. Today we're going to discuss the management of what I call apple-shaped or severe polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now if you're watching this and you're wondering, do you have severe polycystic ovarian syndrome? Well, one of the ways to know if you have this type of PCO is do you carry a lot of weight? Uh, women with severe PCO frequently come into my office weighing 250, 300 pounds or more. It's not uncommon for a woman to be carrying one to 200 extra pounds of fat on her frame. Women tend to gain this weight in the midsection. We'll see it mainly in the uh, belly. We'll also see it in the upper back. Um, once the disease gets very severe, we'll actually see the thighs become very thin as well as the buttocks as major muscles actually begin to atrophy. Uh, women with severe PCO will sometimes have very rare or absent menses. Um, uh, the biggest cosmetic problem women uh, with severe PCO have is they have very bothersome hair growth. It's quite uh, disfiguring and uh, very upsetting to women who have the condition. Another giveaway uh, to severe PCO is, is there a dark band of skin in the crease behind the neck? This is called acanthosis nigricans. We also see darkening of the armpits around the belly in the groin area, but the easiest place to see is on the back of the neck. This is due to very high insulin levels, uh, and it's a very strong sign uh, that you have this problem. Now, if a woman comes into my office, we always get blood tests to evaluate the thyroid gland, see if there's overt diabetes, and sometimes check for other rare conditions uh, called CAH. Uh, but most of the time this is uh, a fairly straightforward diagnosis. Now, even if the blood tests show normal blood sugar levels, women with this condition must be regarded as pre-diabetic no matter what the blood tests uh, show. Now, once again, to understand the treatment of this type of PCO, you need to understand the situations in which this uh, uh, cluster of, of uh, traits was valuable or helpful in evolution. Okay, what is this suited for? Women with severe PCO like to put on weight and hold on to weight no matter what. Well, it turns out throughout history there were wars, there were famines, there were droughts, there were pestilence, plagues, bad times in which food was not readily available. If you know anything about female physiology, if a woman is starved or stressed, frequently she'll lose weight and stop menstruating and become infertile. Well, in the good old days, some woman with PCO who held on to a lot of weight would in fact flower and come into her element uh, during these times, obviously be fertile and obviously have children because these genetics have been passed on throughout the millennia. Now, in modern times, we clearly uh, don't have many droughts or famines, so we're always in a time of plenty. Uh, so the uh, ability to gain weight year in, year out, uh, month after month, uh, year after year, is obviously present. If you have this condition, this is what I call a metabolic emergency. Um, the adrenal gland is stressed out. Women with this type of PCO will frequently have purple tip stretch marks on their abdomen, showing their cortisol levels are very high. When they have muscle atrophy, this means their uh, adrenaline levels are very high. These hormones come from the adrenal gland, which is obviously very stressed. Uh, insulin levels are very high, so the pancreas is also stressed. Uh, the body is not happy, and bad things will generally happen. Um, left unchecked, uh, women with this type of PCO will develop type 2 diabetes. They frequently have high blood pressure, and they're very high risk for cancer of the inside of the uterus. Uh, so these uh, issues should not be uh, ignored. Also, it's very important that even if a woman with severe PCO gets pregnant, uh, the chance of her having some kind of disaster, such as a miscarriage, premature labor, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, all these issues are at very high risk of happening, and the chance of having a healthy, normal baby uh, goes down tremendously. Um, the treatment of severe PCO, unfortunately, uh, requires severe dietary carbohydrate uh, restriction and uh, very pointed continuous, faithful weight loss efforts. Um, uh, you can't have bad days, you can't have cheat days. Uh, you need to do this uh, day in, day out, 
generally for one or two years, uh, especially if you're carrying one or 200 extra pounds of fat. Um, for this reason, failure rates are very high. Uh, another uh, issue is that women with this condition have frequently been eating very large portions for a long time. Their stomachs are stretched and the feeling of fullness or what's called satiety has been blunted or in fact destroyed. Uh, without satiety, you don't know when to put the fork down and if you don't know when to do that, then how are you going to uh, keep food, food intake uh, uh, to reasonable amounts? For this reason, reason um, failure rates are so high that many of these women would probably benefit from bariatric surgery. Uh, we're not going to talk too much about this, but there are three basic types of surgery. There are restrictive devices, there are bypasses called a ruin y and a more popular uh, Bariatric surgery is called a stomach stapling or what's called a sleeve gastrectomy. Because women who come to me want to get pregnant and want to have babies, we strongly urge, they tell their surgeons, to get these sleeve gastrectomy. This does not rewire the bowels. Nutrient absorption is still there and the ability to eat properly and support a healthy pregnancy remains. So we're strong advocates for sleeve gastrectomy if that's the uh, option of final re uh, resort. Um, Nobody wants to do it, but if you're failing over and over and yo-yoing through the months and through the years, it ends up being one of the best investments you'll ever make in yourself. Uh, the return on investment is infinite, because not only are we talking about better fertility, but we're talking about a longer life and a much higher quality of life. What are two, 20 or 30 years of high quality life worth? Well, they're obviously priceless. So um, for women who require it, uh, a sleeve gastrectomy surgery, is a great investment and we uh, suggest that. Now if a woman is getting older, she's in her later 30s and she has very little time to lose before she's going to uh, uh, drop off the fertility curve, uh, then bariatric surgery sooner than later makes a lot of sense as well. If a woman's in her early 20s, uh, generally with some uh, hard work and some motivation, we can achieve the uh, health improvement necessary to both increase her uh, fertility potential and increase uh, her ability to live a long, healthy, happy life. So, I know this can be kind of bad news. People don't want to hear uh, what they have to do. But by the time you've got this severe PCO uh, going, um, it is an emergency. And unfortunately, uh, very strict measures need to be taken to both achieve fertility and uh, improve health. So, I hope that's helpful for, for you. Uh, this is Dr. Wilshire of Missouri Fertility. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram.